Patreon subscribers. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. This painting was a request uh, by my brother who is going to auction this painting off and I'll go into detail about that um, a little later on in the video. So let's just get started. <clears throat> As you see I have my line drawing. Uh, the reference photo is in the left hand corner. And I'm, again, I'm going to block out all of the colors in acrylic like I do on all of my paintings. And I'm using uh, bleached, the bleached titanium white. Let me, I think that's what it's called. Oh, it's unbleached titanium white. Sorry. For the eyes, I used cadmium red, cadmium orange hue, and cadmium yellow. And I'll have a list of all of the paints and my supplies in the description over, well no, I'll have them over on my my uh, website under my blog which I'll have linked below or linked in the description of this video. So my brother came to me and asked me to do this painting. Uh, he is a member of the Crypto Watch the I'll link you to their Facebook page. They track cryptocurrency. I don't know a whole lot about it, but they're having an auction uh, where the proceeds will go to somebody in need. And so because it was for a good cause, I said I would do it. I don't normally do requests or commissions or anything like that because I it it drives me insane. So it stresses me out to no end. And this painting in particular stressed me out very badly. So I had a I had a hard deadline. I only had about two weeks to get this done. And I did it. I started it out in acrylic. And then I finished it up in oil. And we all know oil takes forever to dry. So I was very stressed in trying to get this all done. And have it all look somewhat like an owl. Because you know I don't do uh, realism, but I did want all the detail in the eyes to be very accurate. <clears throat> so this, I'm not going into a lot of detail over what I'm doing here because I go back and I redo the eyes and I redo the forehead of all of this because I didn't like the way it looked after sitting on it, looking at it overnight. Um, that I decided to redo parts of it. So, but here I, I'm still just blocking it in. For the browns, I used Mars Black, let's see, Raw Umber, Burnt Sienna, and Burnt Umber were the colors I used. <clears throat> For the feathering, I also used raw sienna. And here I'm just, you know, referencing my reference photo and trying to get everything as accurate as possible. The forehead and the eyes and the beak area were the portions of this that I wanted as accurate as possible the feathering around the face and under the chin and everything that is where I kinda got a little looser with all of this and I have this sped up a little higher than faster than I normally would just because uh, there's parts of this that are missing um, I was more focused on trying to get this painting completed than I was about getting it recorded. 
So I have some stuff is missing. Oh, and another thing is at the bottom of this painting is going to be the words, the cryptocurrency. And you'll see uh, that's going to come up later in the video. I did not record um, how I did the lettering. I did it with modeling paste. But you will see um, after the modeling paste has been applied. And for the feathering, I used a, a Filbert Rake brush. It is a quarter inch by Princeton Rake brush that I used for the feathering. And like I said, in the feathering outside of the immediate face, I used, um, I was very loose and didn't put a lot of detail into the feathering. Now here, the the uh, photo looks or the painting looks weird because I'm using my projector uh, with this with the original photo shining on my actual canvas because the eyes didn't look right, um, and so I use that to kind of help me get that all proportioned correctly because the eyes were the one thing that really drew my brother to this particular photo and this photo the original photo comes from uh, Pixabay you so see you can if you want to do this Al you can you can find that photo over there so you're going to see I'm, I black out the whole forehead section because it looked like I don't know, it looked like a plate sitting on his head. I probably could have fixed it. It was just easier for me to just black it out and start start over. So I'm using a lot of the unbleached titanium white and Mars black in this section. Now, in the reference photo, the eyes are orange, but I needed the I needed more yellow because their their logo is more of a yellow orange, and that's what the text was going to be in. So I needed to lighten the eyes up a little bit. They're not going to be quite as orange in the finished product. So I'm just following my reference photo as closely as possible to get all the detail. I also used a number zero script liner that is uh, synthetic hog hair to do a lot of the details around the beak and on the forehead. And it's a master's touch from Hobby Lobby. I love I love these. I also used a number one script liner from Master's Touch at Hobby Lobby. I kind of like the number one a little bit better because it's a little longer. It's also the uh, synthetic hog hair. Uh, I like the longer bristled script liner brushes a little bit better than the shorter ones. And I, my head gets in the way. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out a good, good place for my <clears throat> my camera where I don't get in the way and I'm not at this real weird angle to the to the canvas. I thought this would work really well, but then my my head gets in the way a lot, so I'm still gonna have to play with that on my future videos.
And for the feathering, I usually mainly just used that rake brush. I really like it for fur and feathering. Um, now here I've I've now done the Crypto Watch text at the bottom. I used modeling paste and I used a stencil. I cut the stencil out with, I have a Cricut, so I got the actual text that uh, off their logo and I used that and used the stencil and the modeling paste to create this. So it's raised off the canvas about a sixteenth of an inch. Now I'm just sanding down the edges And then the O on crypto, I'm going to have to close in those gaps, uh, which was a real pain to have to do. But in order for my stencil to stay together, I had to put, I had to make that O where it was missing the center sections uh, in order for my stencil to work. So now I have my phone set up on my canvas so that I can look at the color of the their logo so that I can get the right the right match color match. And here I wasn't real worried about the yellow getting onto the canvas and being a little bit messy with this because I went and I cleaned it all up with black. You'll see me doing that here in a little bit. And I started painting it and then I realized, oh, I haven't closed up the O yet. So I have to, there'll be a portion where I'm, I'm like, oh, the O's not done. So now I've got to fix that. And here I am filling in with the modeling paste those little gaps. My brother originally wanted um, dimension to this painting and he was wanting me to maybe use form board to pop up the owl or the text and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I'm not going to do this painting and then have form board <clears throat> popped up off of it. I, I don't know what he was thinking. So this... I told him I would figure something out, so this is what I did. It's not exactly what he was wanting, but, you know, sometimes as an artist, you just kind of have to draw the line. So now I'm just fixing the O and trying to get it the proper shape. Now I'm darkening up the letters. They needed another coat and they needed to be just a hair darker with a little bit more orange in it. And for the letters I used the cadmium yellow deep hue and cadmium orange hue for the lettering. Now I'm going in and cleaning up the edges of the letters with with just black, Mars black. With that modeling paste, you could I could have also added the color into the modeling paste before I ever took it over my stencil, but I wasn't real sure about the color, so I just opted to go with white. And I'm moving my canvas around all different directions so that, because this is very detailed work, trying to get all the letters perfect. 
edged in black and cleaned up. Now I'm working a little bit more on the O again. I also tested this with the the modeling paste and everything on an old canvas to make sure that <clears throat> when it dried that if the if there was any flex to the canvas at all that it wouldn't all crack off and it all stayed perfect. It has a little bit of flex to it, I guess, when it dries. So luckily it worked out. So then I decided I wanted to see about trying to add even more dimension by lining all the letters in white like there was a shine on each letter. I didn't like that so much so now I'm going over the white with just just uh, cadmium yellow, the deep hue which is just a real bright yellow. So here I am I'm going over the whole owl in oils and the oils just I feel like make the colors pop a little better so I'm I'm not really changing much I'm just going over parts of it with oil paint <clears throat> and every night I would send my brother an updated version of the painting and we would discuss it and in the end, he decided he wanted the left side of the bird to be in more shadow than what's in the actual reference photo. So I darkened all of that side up. I did put this white in around the eye, and I didn't like that. So I ended up I ended up taking that out <clears throat> and taking the highlight off the left eye. And for my oil paints, I use the exact same colors as I did uh, for the acrylics. So I know this was a really sped up version uh, of this. Like I said, I wasn't real focused on turning this into a Patreon video. Um, I was more stressed out with the my hard deadline. But if you would like to see the longer version of this, I can certainly do that for you. Um, if enough people want to see it, I'll do that. So just let me know, comment, and let me know, and uh, when I get time, I'll do that. Now, my next painting is going to be of a hen with some baby chicks that I took. We have a hen that just hatched out baby chicks a couple weeks ago, and I took a photo of that, and it just actually turned out I loved it. So I thought, this would make a great painting. So I'll actually, I own that reference photo, so I'll be able to give it to you. So I hope this painting has inspired you. Now it's your turn to go out and inspire somebody else.